What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, be sure to subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified every single time I upload a new video. In today's video, I am reviewing a new palette from Beauty Creations, which is this one right here called the Jasmine Palette. Now you guys know Beauty Creation has been launching some princess palettes and when they showed this palette, when they showed what's inside of it, I was thrown back and I was like, I need it. I love Jasmine. I love the whole movie Aladdin. So I had to get it and not only am I reviewing this palette but I'm also doing a eyeshadow tutorial with the look that I got going on right now so if you guys are interested in watching this be sure to stay tuned Suavemente. Suavemente. Well, first of all, excuse the lighting. It is so gloomy outside. Like, it's foggy. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's foggy. There's not, no sunshine whatsoever. It's just so dark. And it's already, what time is it? 9.46. So, it should be nice and bright. But it's just one of those days. And you guys know that... I count on the outdoor lighting so much for these videos, so I'm so sorry we're gonna have a dark video today. Pero, I got my palette here, and look you guys! When I seen it in stores, I was like, girl. So this is what the packaging look like. This is Beauty Creations Jasmine Palette. So you guys seen that Beauty Creation does have a collection of all their princess palettes. And this one in particular caught my attention. I was like, I need it. I loved the color story on it. This is what the back looks like. It has like the description, the ingredients and everything. Plus a little sneak peek of what the eyeshadow palette looks like down here. So let's slide this open. And again, same packaging on the front, but except the back, it says Beauty Creations Jasmine. All right, so let's open this up so you guys can get the idea of, oh my God, dude, look how pretty this palette is. It just has so many different colors. I love the variety. It has the greens, the blues, the pinks. They have purples. They have even a black, a brown, like just yellow. They have everything that screams Jasmine. I do notice right here that it does have the same uh, cover. I do wish that there was a mirror, pero ya que se puede hacer, the color story is beautiful anyway. By looking at this palette, girl, like, okay, Look at the shimmers, it has glitters, it has mattes, it has everything you possibly want in a palette. And that is why me, like it caught my attention. And so I'm gonna do a little bit of swatches because you guys need to see what this palette is working with. Okay, so I had to record this part with my phone because you guys need to see how crystal clear and beautiful these swatches are. The mattes are so buttery soft and they're extremely pigmented. The shimmers, oh girl, they just glide on and then the glitters, you already know that they're gonna shine nice and bright whenever the light hits it. And these are just some of the swatches. I was able to do the first three um, rows or columns, whatever you wanna call it. So I did swatch out this one right here, these right here, and these right here. Todavía me falta todo eso, but I just wanted you guys to get like a little sneak peek of what it looks like and they're so gorgeous and here we're getting into the purples pinks yellows girl oh my god these glitters right here look how pretty they are they're like chunky so some are you know bigger in size but this color range is just incredible y luego wanted to point out that that white shimmer right in the center the thick one that i swatched out i have never felt anything like this especially with white shimmer that is just something new to me the texture of it i love it and especially because it's so pigmented how can you get white so pigmented like that Oof. i don't know what i'm gonna do for this look because there's just so many beautiful shades that i really truly like just want to put on my eyelids let's do blues probably some greens some yellows i don't know we'll see where this look takes us so let's talk about the pricing i did get this for 19.99 and i just cannot believe that i was able to get such an affordable palette with all these different shades that are so buttery creamy glittery and sparkly and bold and vibrant for that price like who does that well i guess beauty creation does that but <laughs> And you get me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how they are able to manage to pull off such beautiful pigment, especially on the swatches. Now, eye performance, we're gonna put that to the test right now because I've always told you guys swatches and, you know, eyeshadow performance with the brushes are two completely different stories. So, um, now, 
it's time to get in there. I did want to kind of show you guys first. I don't know if you can tell, but oh, there are some kind of embroidery like right here. This um, shade right here has like a little lamp on it. There's a heart right over here and then on the yellow one as well. Like it's hard to see, especially because I swatched them out. But I really thought that that was a cute little detail. Okay, let's just go at it and begin wherever my heart desires. So I am very attracted to this shade right here. It has a little lamp up there. It's like turquoise kind of like the same color as the packaging so let's take that one and i've told you guys before i like to place the eyeshadow and then blend out i am gonna go for a full-on cut crease since i haven't done one in a while i mean so far the shadow's working really nice it's not as pigmented as it is on the pan but it's actually nice and it's working out because i'm using it as a transitional shade so it's all good there I don't know why I kind of want to add a little bit of blue in it. So now I'm going to take this other shade right here, which is blue. It also has the embroidery of a genie lamp. So let's take that one. I'm going to add it somewhere like right here. Just mix those two in together. Okay, that did help it a lot to get like a lot more vibrant. But again, this the blue one, same thing as the green one or turquoise one. They perform the same way. It's not extremely pigmented when you place it on your eye, but it blends out beautifully. So I'm going to take this deep brown right here. And this one, I'm going to be very careful because when I swatched it out, it was very pigmented. And I'm putting this one right inside of my crease, right where I'm going to cut it. You see what I mean? That thing is strong. I'm going to take this deep blue right here. And I'm going to blend that in with the brown. And I'm kind of trying to make a deeper blue shade since the palette doesn't carry it. There we go. And all the shades blend out beautifully. Look at that. Looks gorgeous. My eyes look so big though. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills primer and this little thin brush. I'm not too sure exactly how the shape I want to cut this crease, but we're gonna see right now because I have like two ideas, but I guess as I cut it, a ver qué pasa. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna leave the cut crease up right there because I do want to play with even more shadows. I wanna add some more colors. In the outer corner, I wanna add this dark purple right here. And I'm gonna place it right here in the outer corner. Ooh. Girl, that was bold right there. That was a bold move. <laughs> so just be careful. That thing is pigmented. Just place it and blend it together right there. Kind of bring it outwards. Just like that. You know what? I should have put on setting powder underneath. So this wouldn't happen. But yes, there is a little bit of fallout going on to my cheeks. And all these shades right here, they're not clumping up. They're not making a mess. They're actually blending out really, really pretty. So this is where it's going to get good. We're going to grab this chunky glitter right here. And you don't even need like to wet your brush at all. It'll literally grab right onto your flat brush. I'm going to place it. <gasps> Dude, oh my God. Glitter. Glitter glitter hold up let me let me finish putting this and then i am gonna show you what it looks like all up close i'm probably gonna have to do it with my phone porque i don't think with the actual camera you'll be able to pick it up pero esta hermoso this glitter <gasps> holy chetos hold on you guys see that glitter it is so beautiful oh my god esta hermoso este glitter guys Dude, I'm like so excited for this look. All these colors are just coming in together. They're blending out nicely. They're performing like phenomenally. So I'm gonna take a little bit. I'm trying to look for the right brush. I'm over here like hella excited. I can't even concentrate. I'm gonna take that white shimmer that I showed you guys earlier and I'm gonna use that to like carefully place it in my inner corner. Fall out. Uh -huh. Oh my god, hold on, hold up. Dude, that inner corner is popping. 
I'm like very shook with this look. I love how it looks. I'm gonna take the same purple that I just did, which is this one. What I'm basically gonna do is just tie up the bottom corner like this. And then going back in with the deep brown and smoking out all those shades. Just like that. Be very careful when doing this. Remember, this shade is extremely pigmented. I do want to give it like a little pop of something right there. So it, I'm going to take this like shimmer right here, the blue one. And when I swatched this one, it was one of my favorite shades. So I'm going to place it like right here. I think I might just drag that all along like this. Just to make it pop, you know? <gasps> Dude! I am so shook with this shade. It's so pretty. Next time I'm gonna do a look, I'm gonna put that shade all across my lid because it's just such a beautiful shimmer. It almost looks metallic. Okay, so that is all the eyeshadows I'm going to need. I'm going to do my other eye off camera. I'm going to put on some lashes and I will be right back so we can talk more about this palette. Alrighty, I mean, guys, we are back with the final look. What do you guys think? Are you guys digging the colors? Do you like the cut crease? The glitter. Honestly, the glitter was probably my favorite. It was just... I love the texture of it. I love how it applied and how easy and gentle it was on my eyes. Like it doesn't itch or anything. It doesn't feel thick as if like I just wanted to get off. No, it feels really, really light. It feels good. So let's talk about this Jasmine palette from Beauty Creations. Overall, I loved the performance on this palette. You guys saw the swatches. Swatches were bomb. And then when I used the actual shadows onto my eyes, the blend was just so beautiful. I loved how beautiful all the shades like, complemented each other. They worked with one another, so the formula overall was amazing. And then the Shimmer Girl, it speaks for itself. You guys can see it nice and popping on the bottom part of my eyes. Like, it was just beautiful. The way it swatched is the same way that it applied on with a brush. The, so that's what like kind of took me back. I was just like, damn, that thing did its thing. So props to Beauty Creations for creating this palette. It's such a beautiful color story. I loved using the most shades I could um, on my eyeshadow. Everything about this palette, I, I just freaking love it. I highly recommend it if you guys want to get yourself one, go for it. And one thing about me, most likely you already caught on. On. I like to play with affordable makeup, so I'm not really much on the higher end of products, but I like to play with affordable, good makeup, okay? So this is why I this one called my name out. Well, I hope this review was helpful for you guys in deciding whether or not you guys want to purchase this palette. I mean, I recommend it, and I know if you get it, you're going to love it. But anyway, we are done with this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment down below. What shade was your favorite, girl? I want to know which one did you like? Did you like the blues, the purples? Do you guys want me to play with some yellows? Let me know. But anyway, we are done. I will see you guys on my next next video. Bye!